Hey there. Welcome to the world. It's okay if you don't know what to say just yet. Coming into existence is a bit of an odd thing. Be careful moving at first. It's easy to get your strings tangled. It's easy to get your strings tangled. But it gets better with practice. Oh, don't be too embarrassed if they do get tangled. It happens to everybody from time to time. Even me and I've had a ton of practice. It's an occupational hazard of being a puppet, I guess. It's all right. Everybody's first steps are a bit awkward. Here, no. You're modeled after an animal called an elephant. They walk on four legs. No two like me. Try putting all four legs down. There, you got it. <laughs> Good. It's fine. I don't mind helping. In fact, I always help the new puppets learn the, uh, well, the strings. <laughs> I think of it as my unofficial job at this point. I don't know. I've just been here so long that it made sense for me to do it. I've always liked helping. That's probably his doing. He's always helping, too. Well, he is the person who made you. And he made me, too, a long time ago. I don't think that he was even fully grown then, and he didn't have this shop yet. Just some bright eyes and a dream. Anyway, he's who we work for. I think that you're meant to be part of his new circus show. He made one modeled after something called a lion last week. I'll have to introduce you two soon. I'm sure that you'll become fast friends. The animal puppets always get along well together. Honestly, I've never fully understood why. But at least it will be easy for you to fit in. And there's no need to worry about performing either. He controls all of our movements during the shows. So you can just relax while you enjoy looking at the faces of the people in the crowd. It's always such fun to watch them laugh. <laughs> I can tell that it makes him happy, too. There's no need to be nervous. It feels so natural after a couple of times that you barely even think about it. You just, you know, go through the motions. And he wouldn't ever blame you for any mistakes. He knows that it's impossible for you to make a mistake. It's always a, a slip of his hand that causes mishaps. Sometimes he gets irritated with himself because he always wants to give a perfect show, but he never takes it out on us. He could never. He cares for us too deeply. You can tell that we're all a labor of love for him. He puts so much thought into each of us. Each dimension was carefully planned. Each feature carefully chosen. I know. I've sat here and watched him make you all. I think that's why we come to life. He just puts so much love into us that we all spring forth from it. Of course, I don't know. But I don't think that it could happen if he didn't love us such a shame that he doesn't know we're alive. It would bring him such joy. But I'm sure that it must be against some rule. You see, I've played so many parts in so many of his stories. And in nearly all of them, something bad happens when a creator realizes they've accidentally brought something to life. So I've just never wanted to risk it. I'm too worried that he'll lose the power or that I'll somehow turn back into a mere toy. Or maybe even something worse than that would happen. And my nerves seem to keep all the other puppets from trying to tell him as well. I guess they all trust me to guide them, even about something so momentous. I'll admit that I get more tempted to try and tell him every day, though. 
He's just been feeling so lonely lately that I keep thinking that it might do him some good. At least that way, he'd have friends even if they were all puppets. In truth, I think that he might even already think of us as his friends. He always keeps to himself and rarely has anybody over. I think he might have one or two acquaintances, but nobody who's really close to him. And I probably know him better than anyone else. Oh, um, I mean that all of the puppets know him better than any person could. Honestly, not, not me specifically. He's just so shy that it's hard for him to talk to people. It's such a contrast to how he acts when performing. When he's on stage, he's excited and cheerful and confident. He's so good at making sure that everybody has a good time. I think he might be so focused on entertaining people that he forgets to be shy. But his whole personality changes after the show. He shrinks back into his shell. He just politely nods when any of the audience members try to strike up a conversation with him because he feels too uncomfortable to say anything. And they all quickly run out of things to say and move on before they can really get to know him. And the worst part is, he never feels comfortable accepting the compliments on his performance. He always just stares at the ground and blushes. Then he quickly starts packing up all of his things before anybody else approaches him. I really wish that he could accept compliments at least. He deserves them. I know that he can't see that, but I can. If I could talk to him, I would tell him so a hundred times over. And I would tell him that other people would want to be his friend too. He thinks of himself as bland and mousy. I know because he rants about it in the bathroom mirror all the time. But he's really not. Nobody who creates the kind of shows that he does could ever be bland. I wish that he paid more attention to the crowd when he was on stage. If he took one look at them, he would see nobody in the audience could ever find him bland. They are always captivated by him and his stories. I think he's just so used to blending into the background when he's not on stage that he forgets that he even has such a talent. And I suppose it's harder for people to notice him off stage. But he's still brilliant. It just takes longer for it to show. I think he's a bit like those geodes he sometimes has his crack open. Oh, Geodes are these rocks that look ordinary on the outside, but have the most beautiful crystals on the inside. In one show, he has us smash them with a hammer, and the audience is always surprised when they see that their insides are all sparkly. <laughs> anyway, I think he's a bit like that. Easy to overlook at first. But once you see past his hard outer shell, you'll see that he's one of the most wonderful people that you'll ever meet. If only he could see it. I, I'd give up the world for that. But even if I told him, I know that he wouldn't believe me. So there is no point in risking anything by letting him know I'm alive. And I'm not sure that I would want to meet him as a puppet anyway. I think he might take the message better if, if it came from another human. But that's not the only reason I want to meet him as a human. And most of the other reasons aren't entirely unselfish. Well, you see, I'm in love with him. You're too new to understand what love is, but you might as well know now that I love him. It's not a secret. All of the other puppets know. I've loved him my whole life. But it's the kind of love that grows stronger every day. So I love him even more now than I did back then. Which I didn't even think was possible, but I'm wonderfully glad it is. The more I get to know him, the more I see how fantastic he is. 
Sometimes I feel lucky being a puppet because I get to spend time with him every single day. I get to learn his hopes, his dreams, his fears. And I get to see what makes him smile and what keeps him up at night. And I get to know the part of him that's hidden behind that mask that he wears so well. All of those parts are the parts that I love best about him. And I wouldn't have gotten to see any of them if I hadn't spent so much time watching him from the shelf. But sometimes it's frustrating that I can only watch him. I know that he loves me as much as he could love a puppet. But that's not the same thing as romantic love. The kind that happens between two people. That's the kind of love that I want. But I don't think people can love puppets like that. Well, I guess if anybody could fall in love with a puppet, it would be him. But even if he did, I don't think it would be enough for me. I would still want more. I would want to get as close to him as a human could. I've seen how real people kiss. And it's so much more passionate than how puppets can. Sometimes he presses my lips against another puppet's for a show. I've never minded it, but it doesn't feel like much. It's a short sensation of wood against wood, nothing more. But when people kiss, they can do it so deeply that they get completely lost in each other. And, well, I don't know exactly how it must feel, but I'm sure that it must be amazing. And I want that. I want it with him. I want to kiss him like that and never look back. And I wish for that every night. But I don't know if it's even possible. Although there is an old tale of a puppet turning human, it's one of his favorites which should come as no surprise. I think that the puppet wished on a star. So I've been trying that every night for a while now. But nothing has happened. So maybe puppets don't ever really turn human. You never know, though. I don't think puppets are supposed to come to life, either. But he made that happen somehow. Maybe he can make me human, too. I guess I just have to hope that he wishes for it someday. Maybe that's what I should really wish for. That he starts to see me as more than a puppet. That he starts to learn how much I love him. That he finally realizes how wonderful I think he is. Maybe someday he'll finally see all of that. But until then, I'll keep wishing. <laughs> Sorry, this whole introduction has gone a bit far afield. Here, I'll take you to meet some of the other puppets. I promise that they aren't half as rambling or as smitten with him as I am. In fact, Lion isn't like that at all. And they are just two shelves down if you want to meet them. Okay, go on down that way. I'll meet you in a second. Oh, I hope I didn't frighten Elephant too much. It was a lot for them to take in. It's just hard to keep inside of me how much I care about him. <sighs> I just love him so much. And I'll always love him whether I turn human or not. And I know that you can't hear me right now. So I'm not afraid to say it. But dear Puppeteer, I've been talking about you all night. I do love you with all my heart. And I always will.